What's up, Jaywalkers? We're back at it with another reaction, and we're going to be watching Season 5, Episode 7 of Doctor Who. Last episode was just a, a pretty fun episode. We had the freaking phony vampire fish motherfuckers who were a little bit annoying, but they were, they were, they were okay. Um, we loved the moments we got from Amy and Rory. We loved that they were able to work it out. And we absolutely love that Rory is now coming on some adventures with us. It's going to be a great time. Um, and yeah, we're ready for it all. Full reactions will be over on my Patreon page. A link to that will be in the description box of every video over here on YouTube if you want to check them out. Feel free to hit the link and do so. That being said... We're jumping into it. Let's. Oh, my God, she's pregnant. Oh, my neighbors might have heard that. Alarm. What it feels like. I've never had a baby before. <laughs> mm. Leaf blowers, use a rain. No, it's. Oh! It's him! Uh, I've cracked your flowers. Oh, Amy will kill you. Where is she? She'll need a bit longer. <laughs> You've swallowed a planet! I'm pregnant! You're huge! Yeah, I'm pregnant. Right. Oh, you're pregnant. Oh, look at you both. Pregnant. Later, and you haven't changed a bit apart from age. And... So Sorry. pregnant. Are you pregnant? <laughs> Maybe. Is it enough? It's up and Edward, actually. We've gone slightly up market. <laughs> Where is everyone? This is busy. Okay, it's quiet. Busy. Lots of people around here live well into their 90s. Well, don't know that. Well, too quiet. Don't get any diary. Well, like, I want to find if you don't get rid of your wild. Are you watching, Lee? You gave me a mistake, didn't you? So, what do you do around here to stave off the, you know, self harm? Oh, we live. We listen to the birds. Yeah, see? Birds. A lot of times listen to birds song back in the TARDIS days, did we? Oh, blimey, my head's a bit. You're right, there wasn't a lot of time for bird song back in the good. We didn't need time for that. What? Oh. Me time. What? Oh, you're okay. Oh, thank God, I had a terrible nightmare about you two. Safe now. Nope. Oh, okay. It was just the 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 weirdest Lightning. thing ever. Red flashing lights. I bet they mean something. But Doctor, I also had a kind of dream nightmare though. Just um. No. We were married? Yeah. No. A sweet little village, and you were pregnant. Yes, I was here. Exactly <laughs> the same dream. Are you calling me a book? And Doctor, you were visiting? Yeah, yeah, you came to our cottage. How can we have had exactly the same dream? It doesn't make any sense. And you had a nightmare about... Who's that old lady? You had the same dream. Basically. You said it was a nightmare. Did no, I say a nightmare? No, it's good. really good. Nah, I've got something. Forget it. We're back to reality now. Yeah, okay. I'm forgetting that. If we're back to reality, how come I can still hear birds? Yeah, the same birds, the same... Oh, and we're back. Sorry, not at all. Stupid Back like we never God, left. Must be overdoing back and worse than ever. We were back. So weren't we just saying the same thing? But we thought that this was the dream, didn't we? I think so. Why do dreams have to fade so quickly? This Doctor, is what the is nightmare. going on? This is because of you. What? From now on, just nothing Shit. to see, hear, or feel. But we're awake now. Yeah, you thought you were awake on the TARDIS. The trouble is, Rory, Amy, which is which? Are we flashing forwards or backwards? So crazy! Hold on tight. Gonna be a tricky one. Yeah, I'm in. I'm already losing my mind. Oh, this is bad! I don't like this! He threw the manual in a supernova. Why? Because I disagree with it. Stop talking to me when I'm cross. <laughs> Dreaming of the future. Well, of course we were. We were in Ledworth. Upper Ledworth. Yeah, and we could still be in Upper Ledworth. Dreaming of this, don't you get it? No. Definitely awake. Yeah, and you thought you were definitely awake when you're all elephanty. Hey, 
pregnant. Do you trust nothing we see or hear or feel? Look around you, examine everything. Look for all the details that don't ring true. Look at a spaceship that's bigger on the inside than the outside. With a full timer and alien. So maybe what? Right, right. This nightmare got it's a dead. whole lot worse. We're in a dead time machine. This is real. When we wake up in the other place, remember how real this feels. It is real. I know it's real. Okay, this is a real one. Definitely this one. It's all solid. It felt solid in the TARDIS, too. You can't spot a dream. Hello, Doctor. Hello. You're a doctor? Yeah. And unlike you, I've actually passed some exams. How interesting. What is? Well, your dream wife, your dream job. Probably your dream baby. Maybe this is your dream. Time. Old people's home. The fuck are you looking at, buddy? <laughs> no. I'm just gonna poke it with a stick. That's the worst thing. In this. Hello, Rory. Hello. Yeah, Mrs. Pocket, how's your hip? Yes. Can I borrow you? You're the size of my grandson. Ah. Uh, it's about the schism to sort out. He looks adorable in that. I hate this doctor, stop it, because this is definitely real. It's definitely this, this one. I keep saying that. Don't I? It's bloody cold. The heating's off. Like, the heating's off. Hurry yeah. a bit, but. Sorry about Mrs. Poggett. She's so muscle. lovely, though. I won't believe her nice old lady act if I were you. I can't even see out. We could be anywhere. Someone, something is overriding my control. Well, that's a good oh! The Time Lords, the oncoming storm, him in a bow tie. <laughs> How did you get into my time? If you're the Time Lord, let's call me the Dream Lord. Nice look. This? No, I'm not convinced. Bow ties, Lord. It's in the name, isn't it? Spooky. Not quite there. <laughs> and yet very much here. I'll do the talking thing. Or he creates dreams. Dreams, delusions, cheap tricks. And what about the gooseberry here? Does he get a guess? Uh, listen, mate. If anyone's the gooseberry round here, it's the doctor. Illusion I'm not responsible for. No, but he is. He isn't choose, even. I have chosen. Of course, I've chosen. Is you stupid? Oh, good, thanks. I've seen your dreams. Or it's Some too twice, Amy. Blimey, I'd blush if I had a blood supply. Look at me hair, the clothes designed by a first-year fashion student. I'm surprised you haven't got a little purple thing I know is I'm going to be Just around home, out. what an intergalactic magic you are. So here's your challenge. Two worlds. Here, in the time machine, and there, in the village that's real, the other's fake. And just to make it more interesting, you're going to face, in both worlds, a deadly danger, but only one of the dangers is real. To sleep. Or are you waking up? Bad. Look at this Bad x -ray. thing in both worlds. Your one brain is completely see-through. But then, I've always been mm. see-through. In the dream, you wake up in reality. Healthy recovery in next to no time. Ask me what happens if you die in reality. What happens? You die, stupid. That's why it's called reality. Have you met the Never mind that. You've got a world to choose. One reality was always too much for you, Doctor. Take two and call me in the morning. Okay. I don't like him. Who is he? I don't know. It's a big universe. Why is he doing this? Maybe he's taking it out on folk like us who oh, can who actually can feel. What does he mean, deadly danger? Two foot two. Why would they leave? And what did you mean about Mrs. Poggett's nice old lady act? One of my tawdry quirks. Sniffing out things that aren't what they seem. So, time. Yeah, sort of communal trials. Very rare, very complicated. I'm sure there's a dream giveaway at hell, but my mind isn't working because this village is so dull! <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> What do we do? Okay, it's not coming. What? This is my life now, and it just turned you white as a sheet, so don't you call it out again. Ever. Okay. <laughs> now, we all know there's an elephant in the room. I have to be oh, a baby. No. You hold it down, I'll cut it off. This from the man in the bow tie. The bow ties are cool. Yes. I think we should all be wearing bow ties and having ponytails. What is she doing? What does she want? I don't know, dude, but I don't like her. Oh. Here we go. It's really cold. I want the other life. You know, where we're happy in second. 
Let's have a baby. <laughs> but don't you wonder, if that life is real, then why would we give up all this? Because we're gonna freeze to death? The doctor will fix it. We're gonna get married? <laughs> yeah? We can still get married someday. You don't want to anymore. Mm. I thought you'd chosen me, not him. The man? Not in that way. It was the night before our wedding. We're in a time machine. It could be the night before our wedding for as long as we want. We have to grow up eventually. Mm. Says who? Where are we? Where are we? We're in trouble. What is that? Oh, no. Star. Cold star. Uh, that's why we're freezing. It's not a heating malfunction. We're drifting toward a cold star. Oh! In the dream, there is no such thing as a cold star. Stars burn. So this one is just burning cold. Is that possible? Oh, I can't know everything. Why does everybody expect me to always? Okay. This is always will it seem. We've got about 14 minutes until we crash into it. But that's not a problem. Because you know how to get us out of this. Because we'd have frozen to death by then. Oh, then what are we going to do? Stay calm. A weird new star, 14 minutes left to live and only one man to save the day. Huh? I just wanted a nice village and a family. Oh dear, Doctor. Descent. Oh, let's go. The animal. Motherfucking <laughs> boy. Oh no. We've run out of time. No, we haven't. Don't spend too we long. We always got. Or you'll um, catch your death here. It's the real one. I just feel it. Don't you feel it? I feel it both places. I feel it here. It's just so tranquil. Nothing bad could ever happen here. Oh, I'm wrong. Bad amateur dramatic society. Oh. That's why I got pregnant, so I don't have to be in Oklahoma. What happened to them? Eat them. What do you think? <laughs> I think they did. They're just old people. What's this? Attack of the old people? Oh, that's ridiculous. This has got to be the dream, hasn't it? What do you think, Amy? Let's all jump under a bus and wake up in the TARDIS. You first. Leave her alone. All dark hero. Leave her alone. Just leave her. Yes. You're not quite. You see nothing but... yet. In there. Loves a redhead, our naughty doctor. Has he told you about Elizabeth the first? Well, she thought she was the first. Drop it. Drop all of it. I know there's a new universe who hates me as much as you do. Oh my me. Maybe you should worry about them. Yeah, we've been worried about them from the start. Uh, we're a little more worried about them than yeah, we've been worried about you. But we're pretty worried about everything, to be honest. Hello, Mr. Navy. Mr. Navy ran the sweet shop. He used to slip me the old free That's top. That's our kid. It's Mono Dex. Oh! Say thank you. Come to play. You may have to run. Fast. Oh, can't we just talk to them? Yeah, that doesn't seem possible. Is that I and her mouth? Goodness, why are you hiding away here? Why aren't you at home? We were driven from our planet by upset neighbors. So we've been living here inside the bodies of old humans for years. No wonder they live so long. Your key is credible enough. Could be real. Morning. <coughs> you need to leave this planet. Then. Oh, okay, this is crazy. She loves me. I fixed her depression. She's just a little old lady. Mrs. Hamill. Get the understand. fuck away! Okay. Okay. I can't hit her. This part. You can. Okay. Bro, you gotta. You gotta start snacking. Oh! oh we just run away. We just abandoned the doctor. Don't ever call me chums again. We don't see him for years, and somehow we don't really connect for us. Hey, he'll be fine. You know the doctor. He's Mr. Cool. <laughs> Look at him, cool as ever. You're probably a vegetarian, aren't you, you big flop-haired wuss? Oh, pipe down and busy. Maybe you need a little sleep. Shouting boo. Come in! Come in! Yes, you've got lots of steak here this week. Lots of steak. Get in. Oh. Oh. Can't watch. <laughs> 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 Have to agree. Now,
burning ice. Now agree which battle to lose, all of us, now. Okay, which world do you think is real? This one. No, the other one. Yeah, but are we disagreeing or competing? Competing over what? But it's still in fact. What temperature is it? Outside. How I many noughts you got inside? I don't know, but I can't feel my feet apart. I think all my parts are basically fine. Stop competing. <laughs> Because the universe is really quite to small. Compete. It's, it's time to freaking unite and it's time to buzz. It's time to get it together oh, and really. Poncho! The biggest crime against fascists is leader. Save our lives and defeat that small man. If we're gonna die, let's die looking like a protein folk man. It's the way to do it! We're not gonna die. No, we're not. Uh, but if we were. If we could divide up. I wouldn't want to go out any other way. Well, the dream world is switching us between the worlds. Why, why, what's the law? Companion. Huh. Maybe I'll keep her, and you can have pointy nose to yourself for all eternity, should you manage to clamber aboard some sort of reality. Amy, Amy, we can have fun, aren't we? No, please. Oh, no. oh sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Be sorry about anything, you fucking hero. Oh hell no. Hell no. Let's go, Rory. Never apologizes. He doesn't have to. He never will. And now he's left you with me. Spooky old, not to be trusted me. Anything could happen. Yeah, Amy Who could take you? you down. Just what you want. Like. Something different. Oh, is that who you think you are? The one he trusts? Actually, yes. The only girl in the universe to whom the doctor tells everything. Yes. So what's his name? Which one of these men would you really choose? Yeah, River Song. Look at them. It's their name. <laughs> you ran away with a handsome give him up for a bumbling country doctor who thinks the only thing he needs to be interesting is a ponytail? Stop it. But maybe it's both. And this nightmare will all be over. They'll listen to you. It's you they're waiting for. Amy's choice. <laughs> It's make your mind up time in both worlds. I, I need to find my friends. Friends? Is that the right word? The people you stay in touch with. Your friends never see you again once they've grown up. The old man prefers the company of the young, does he not? Fucking ridiculous. I'm afraid you may experience some bruising. Who's the doctor? I don't know. I want to do something for you. Okay. Yeah. The freezing TARDIS was real, but now I'm not so sure. Oh. I think the baby's dying. Honestly? Well, don't make it up at a time like this! Well, you do have Fucking a history of real. being very lovely. <laughs> Of seeing him again. 
this is the dream. <laughs> because if this is real life, I don't want it. I don't want it. Why are they attacking? Either because this is just a dream or because they know what we're about to do. Be very sure this could be the real world. It can't. Romy isn't here. I don't know. I didn't. I didn't. I honestly didn't. Till right now. This one him. Get him. Seconds left. Warm you up. I hope you've enjoyed your little fictions. They've been defeated. I shall withdraw. Farewell. That was a wild. Something happened. What happened to me? I. Oh, right. This is good. I am liking this. Stay that way. Is this something I said? Mm -hmm. This is who we love. You know who we want. Could you tell me what it was so I can use it in emergencies and maybe birthdays? Helpful the dream book was. Okay, there was misinformation, red herrings, malice, and I could have done without the limerick, but he was always very keen to make us choose between dream and reality. No power over the real world. He was offering us a choice between two dreams. How do you know that? Because I know who he is. <laughs> Candle Meadows of Crest on Slabber. Must have been hanging around for ages. Fell in the time rotor, heated up, and induced a dream state for all of us. The dream lord, then. Those little specs. No, no. No. Sorry, wasn't it obvious? The dream lord was me. Pollen, it's a mind parasite. Feeds on everything dark in you. Gives it a voice, turns it against you. 907. I didn't if you'd asked to. The darkness in you, pair, would have starved to death in an instant. I choose my friends with great care. But those things he said about you... You don't think any of that's true. Amy, right now a question is about your curve boy, and seeing as the answer is about to change his life, is you blew up the TARDIS, that stopped that dream, but what stopped the Leverworth dream? Mm, we crashed the cup about it. Oh, right. I don't remember that bit. No, you weren't there. You were already... That dream Mrs. Pocket got you. Okay, but how do you know it was a dream before you crashed the van? How do you know you wouldn't just die? I didn't. Oh! 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 Beautiful. Shite. Well then. Absolutely when now? trippy freaking episode. Or should I just pop down to the swimming pool for a few lengths? I don't know. Anyway, good for me. Oh, I guess you too. It's up to Amy this time. Amy's choice. Oh, we love it. God, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Yeah, wow. That was crazy. There we have it, guys. Season 5, Episode 7 of Doctor Who. We have Amy's choice for real this time. And this was an all-around crazy one. The the whole episode tripped me out. Um, but this was a unique one that we really freaking enjoyed, man. Just everything with them jumping between these dreams. And, you know, both dreams. Pretty freaking awful. Um, and just having to, to figure out and decide which one of those is real. Turns out like, neither of those were real. And this freaking... Dream Lord that we were dealing with who I just wanted to Choke out on um, this whole episode um, him turning out to be the doctor himself the freaking dark parts of, of his mind and and all that it was it was freaking wild but just like learning that that was the doctor and just 
all the awful things he was saying about himself and just the way he thinks about him. Yeah, oh my God. Yeah, it, it definitely hurts a lot more now looking back on it. But yeah, I really freaking enjoyed all of that stuff. Um, everything we got from Amy was incredible. Great acting from Karen Gillan. Um, especially when, you know, we do, we do choose Rory, we lose him. It, all it, all it took was Rory freaking going in that awful way, but the acting we got from Amy in that moment was phenomenal. Just the way she told the doctor to save him and then, said, what's the point of you? And this, like, this has to be the dream and, you know, if, even if, you know, this is real when we do die, it's our only chance to see Rory again, her delivery of it, the freaking heartbreak of it all. Yeah, it definitely, it definitely hit hard. And once again, that acting was incredible. Um, when we had freaking Frozen Amy um, in her moment with the Dream Lord. And Dream Lord was like, you think you're the one? You think you're the freaking one the doctor tells everything to? What's his name? Oh, just that whole scene, freaking the freaking frozen look of the TARDIS and the frozen look of Amy and the Doctor and Rory. I think it all, like it all, did look beautiful. I really um, loved how it all looked. Um, hated that they were freezing. Whatever, it looked amazing. But yeah, Amy is our MVP. I just, I loved everything we got from her. I adore Rory to death. I adore them to death and um yeah once again just a fucking trippy one and uh, a standout one for sure this this one was so good dude this one was so good and yeah we enjoyed it hope you guys enjoyed my reaction to this one thank you all for watching